Right now, she's looking for some shark teeth. Eden? Hi, guys. So we are in Manasota Key. It's a hidden gem of a beach. So just south of Venice Beach in Sarasota, the area is called Englewood. Now, Venice Beach itself is the self-proclaimed shark's tooth capital, and it's host to a big shark's tooth festival. And here's why. According to Venice Magazine, the waters around Florida have always been full of sharks, obviously, and that even includes the extinct Megalodon, which is the largest shark that ever lived. And wherever there are sharks, of course, there are going to be shark's teeth, too. So sharks' mouths are full of teeth. Sometimes they have as many as 15 rows of teeth and produce and lose teeth constantly. In fact, I am told that a single shark could lose as many as 50,000 teeth in its lifetime. And because of the shallow and sedimentary conditions of Venice and their surrounding beaches, there are a lot of these thick fossil beds where people are using these sifters and finding these shark's teeth like crazy. In fact, I just met a couple from out of town and they have been having a lot of success today. How long have you been out here doing this? We've been here for maybe 30 minutes now. Have you been finding things? We have a little pouch. You found all of them so far? Yes. What, today? Just now, yes. Just now, okay. That's amazing. I'm excited. Oh, look at those gorgeous teeth. And how do you, so you go in, you scoop, and then you just kind of sit through it? Yes. It's like a two-person job. If it wasn't as rough, and the water was calmer, he would be scooping, I would be sifting, and there they would be. So how are you, oh, is there one, is that one right there? That I, that I just saw. A little black, look for little black triangles. And it does take an eye. It does. Our friend Lance Lovell, the digger dude, even made me a sifter just like the one these guys were using. I have a chop saw on. Oh, I can get a little fancier, so I ripped down a two by four, put some 45 degree angles. Um, this stuff here is called machine cloth. If you go to Home Depot or Lowe's and you ask for a machine cloth, it's going to be out in the garden section. Nobody knows where that stuff is. So machine cloth, just some wood to make your frame, and some pool noodles. That's about all you need. All right, so we're gonna head in now to the waters and we're gonna see how we do with our homemade sifter here in uh, Manasota Beach near Venice. Back to you.